Prince William and Kate Middleton, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, released their annual Christmas card this week starring their three royal children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, also released a Christmas card, with both images being shared on the official Kensington Palace Twitter account. While the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge opted for a classic family picture, posing outside in jeans and jumpers with their children, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex revealed a previously unseen photograph from their wedding reception at Frogmore House. In the black and white picture, Harry and Meghan pose in front of a firework display in Windsor while holding hands. Prior to the Christmas cards being released, podcast Royally Obsessed, starring royal writers Caitlin Menza and Lisa Ryan, revealed how releasing a joint Christmas card between the two families would have quashed all feud rumors. Speaking on the podcast about the ways in which Kate and Meghan could put an end to speculation, MS Menza and MS Ryan explained, what if they released a joint Christmas card? Just a barrel of laughs? We all love each other, like no harm, no foul. They explained how the image of George on Harry's shoulders, with Charlotte holding Meghan's bump, would help the PR situation that Palace currently find themselves in. However, as we can see, the two couples have decided to release two separate cards with two very different styles. Speculation of a feud between Kate and Meghan began brewing early in the year. It was reported an emotional strain was running between the two women after Kensington Palace announced Harry and Meghan would be moving to Frogmore House. Speaking at the speculation, an insider said, they are very different women despite their similar circumstances. Meghan is an extrovert whereas Kate is quite shy the evening standards royal correspondent Robert Jobson said on the matter, there's a lot of information coming out of the palace at the moment. I've heard that there are tensions, I personally think there's some truth in it Harry and Meghan first met on a blind date in July 2016. Following four months of behind closed doors dating, the news leaked in late 2016 that Harry was seeing the former Suits star. The palace are doing their best to put a damper on it. A source at the time told the Sunday Express that Harry was happier than he had been for many years and was besotted with Meghan. Their engagement was announced just over a year later, with the couple described as thrilled and happy. The relationship was confirmed in a formal statement in November 2016. At the photo call in the Kensington Palace Gardens afterwards, Harry was asked when he knew she was the one. He quickly replied, the very first time we met.